welcome welcome you know what today i was just going in my cupboard looking for something to eat and i say you know let me just have a little fun and do something different today so i say let me just tell everybody that look if you see if you live in foreign and you come from jamaica there are some things that you just cannot be without in your house okay so as for one example my husband went to toronto the other day and brought back some patty patty king they really taste good so you have to have a patty every now and then and Sometimes they don't really have the energy to make them, so that's a good alternative. You know, so when Easter time coming, you can't be without your HDB Easter bun. And if you're eating your Easter bun, you better know so you have to have tin cheese with it. Cannot be without it. No Easter is Easter without that, okay? Every now and then, your stomach hurts you and you want a little ginger tea. Ginger tea. Can't miss it. This one is the greatest one. It's just powder. No sugar, no nothing, and you drop it in the water and you're having a nice cup of tea. Everybody knows that if you're a Jamaican, you have to have grey scotch bonnet pepper sauce and you have to have pickle pepper sauce. All on eggs, it tastes good. You cannot be without it, right? I can't believe the things I have in here. Festival mix. You're feeling lazy? No problem, right? You grab your festival mix and make fried fish and festival. In fact, that's on my menu for tonight. And then, some people like this and some don't like it. But I love it. Jack mackerel with a little cornmeal dumpling or yam. And I hear some friend of mine said, no, so I'm not eating it. But I love it. Tell me in the comment if you like it. So I was making rice and peas all the time. And then all of a sudden, one of my children say, you know, I want gungo peas and rice. Well, you can't always find, definitely not green gungo here. Sometimes you can't find a dry gungo neither. But we find this. Dry pigeon peas and it makes the greatest substitute for gungo peas and rice. Okay? And good old, good old hard old bread. Oh my gosh, this and butter. Breakfast done. You guys like Excelsior water crackers? Cannot be without it. This house, then they open a bag of this. Two tools done. And then good old chicken sausage, but this is the hot and spicy one. Hot and spicy chicken sausage. Chicken sausage. So again, no, I can't get fresh sorrel. And you know what? I know it's a Christmas time thing, but my family likes sorrel all through the year. But sometimes, you know, when it comes to Christmas, you have to make sure you have your stock. So I keep the dry sorrel and Mix it up with the same ginger, cinnamon stick, the usual brown sugar, and add whatever you want to add, and you're gone. And of course, you can't make rice and peas without coconut milk, so you have to have that in your house too. And cornmeal dumpling, you have to have the right cornmeal, make the cornmeal dumpling. My family love this Ovaltine. I love them too, to be honest with you, but I, you know, I pick my, mine or eat them because I will eat the pack. This is by no means an exhaustive list because if I had banana chips, I could show you that too. And all kind of something else. I mean, you guys tell me in the chat what you go to your store locally if you don't live in Jamaica and buy because you can't, you just have to have them. You, you can't be without them or else life just doesn't feel like life. And of course, hibiscus. I love my hibiscus. Of course, you can't eat those, but they're pretty. I like them. Anyway, this was just a fun little change of thing. I just had a few minutes. It's been really busy. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't post, you know, as regularly last week. I'm coming back with some more stories for you. But I had a moment in time today and I thought, let's have some fun. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I'm looking forward to hearing your favorite Jamaican foods too. Tell me in the comments. Please subscribe, like, share with your friends. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the little bell so that you know when I do a video and I'm having a lot of fun with you guys. Take care till the next one.